So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can output some content from JSON into our HTML. So first of all, I want to set up the content container. So I want to do variable output and do a document. So this is just standard uh, DOM access to that document, uh, get element by ID. And it's going to be output that we're going to be accessing. And this is going to give me the ability to do output inner HTML and actually add some content here. So for now, I'll just show you how to do that with new content, going back over and refreshing it. And I just realized that I had three ends there. So going back out, refreshing it. Uh, so now we see that we've got that new content available. Uh, so now we're going to actually try to get some of that JSON data out and output it within our HTML. And the way that we do that, so instead of doing this new content, I want to actually access the content that's available within here. So I'm going to do J content. Uh, accessing that object information. Uh, so with these named uh, so we can access it via the name here. Uh, so picking up our data, that's why we always need to have a name uh, for the value because we need a way to be able to call to it and access it. So if I just simply change that to first name, we see that we're pull out that first name. And then of course, if I want to get last name, I could do it within this type of format and just update this to last name. and then go back out and now we've got our first name and last name being pulled out of our JSON data and being formatted, pulled out into our HTML. Uh, so this is how you work with uh, the data structure and now we're going to show you uh, some additional ways to pull out that data uh, in the upcoming lessons. Um, also working with the array data and I'm going to probably copy out this data because it did have a good uh, it did ha contain all the different types of data that we can have within JSON. So I'll show you how we can pull out all this different information, especially with the arrays and how we can work with arrays and then with these nested objects as well. So that's coming up in the next lesson.